If you need to get started with a renewable energy battery backup system and you have less than $2,000 budget to get started, then you need to take a look at the EcoFlow line of solar generators. Uh, they're one of the most promising products on the market, integrating solar, battery storage, DC to AC inversion, and the brand new safer, more durable lithium iron phosphate chemistry. here for Solar Surge, and for the past nine years I've been helping families achieve energy independence using clean renewable energy. If you're new to the Solar Surge channel, on Solar Surge we talk about all things related to uh, home solar power systems, battery backup systems, uh, and sometimes generator backup systems as well. Now in today's video we're going to be talking about a new category that we started carrying, which is portable solar generators. And today we're going to be looking specifically at the brand new EcoFlow Delta II portable solar generator. Now when we talk about a solar generator, what we mean is it's basically an integrated appliance that integrates solar charging, uh, battery storage, and uh, DC to AC inversion, meaning you can pull direct current uh, storage off the battery or direct current power off of solar panels and it converts it into high voltage AC power to match like what our homes and what the electric grid is wired for. So in other words, you have a regular wall outlet that you can plug your appliances into. So that's what we're talking about when we talk about a solar generator. Now this uh, video, we're looking specifically at the EcoFlow Delta II. And I just got my hands on my first demo unit. I'd like to show you what comes in the box here. Okay, so let's go ahead and, and unbox this guy. Here's our instruction manual, got some packing foam, and then here is the main Delta II unit. You know, as far as a solar generator goes, considering there's a high capacity battery in here, it's not that heavy. Uh, it's really not that heavy. I mean, if I had to guess, it feels like it weighs about 35, 40 pounds. Uh, and as you can see here, you've got your, your two sides. So, You've got your DC inputs and your control panel on this side, as well as your DC outputs for USB and cell phone charging. And then you have your inverted AC outputs. So you've got your outlets for your high voltage appliances like refrigerators, freezers, water pumps, and so forth. So that's the main unit here. And then we have the box here, which will most likely be some accessories. All right, so let's dig into this equipment. All right, we've got everything out of the box now, and I'd just like to show you some of the accessories that come with the unit and then some of the uh, auxiliary accessories that you can use with it. Now again, if you look at the front of the unit here, you've got your DC power output. So here's your USB ABC for cell phone and portable device charging. It's also where you have your control panel. And you can see I just turned the, the box here on out of the factory, and it came out of the box with a 30% charge. Uh, in the back again, you have your high voltage AC outputs, four ungrounded outlets, two grounded outlets, and then you have also the inputs for your charging. And there's a number of ways you can charge this little guy. I think that's one of the things I really like about it is how versatile it allows you to take advantage of just about whatever power source is available. So example, you can charge from a 12 volt cigarette lighter power source from your vehicle. Um, you can also charge from solar. And I'm glad that they included this adapter cable because some of the previous generation solar generators, they used proprietary connectors where you could only use their brand solar panel with the solar generator. But with the EcoFlow Delta II, they've actually provided me with an MC4 to EcoFlow adapter, which means basically I can use any standard solar panel so long as I can keep it within the acceptable voltage range. So that solar input plugs into the same input here as the 12 volt uh, DC from your vehicle, which is right here. Now, in terms of solar input, the max, the input voltage that you can run is 60 volts DC. So if you're running 12 volt nominal solar panels, which will generally put out about 18 volts when they're operating, um, you could series connect up to three of those solar panels to charge into the EcoFlow Delta II. Uh, but in terms of max power, it's gonna be a max of 500 watts solar input, 
max of 15 amps of DC current input. Uh, and then of course, you can charge from an AC wall outlet. And uh, it's actually quite a rapid charge. Uh, the, the, the EcoFlow battery is a one kilowatt hour storage capacity battery. And using the rapid charge from the AC outlet, you can charge from zero to full charge in one hour. So this is what you can expect to see with the unit out of the box. Now EcoFlow has also sent me one of their portable 200 watt solar panels, which I'll show you here. And so we're going to be testing this outside. I actually really like the way that they package this and sort of this waterproof briefcase uh, style carrying case. So we're going to test this outside. We're going to put this thing through the ringer. We're going to charge with solar. We're going to run some heavier loads off the unit, including uh, chest freezer, ice maker, refrigerator, uh, and maybe even some power tools as well. All right, let's take a look. All right, now we're going to move into our load testing. And the first load that I want to test are the two chest freezers that I have here in the garage. Now, the reason that I, I like to show chest freezers is because from a survival standpoint, once you've got your portable electronics charged up, like your, your flashlights, your cell phones, and that sort of thing, the next thing that you really have to have is some sort of food preservation. And so if you had to choose between using your full-size, full-service refrigerator, which in many cases is going to include a lot of extra bells and whistles that you don't need, like an ice maker, maybe a, a radio or a speaker, or like my TV, I actually have a, a Samsung Family Hub that has, has a whole television touchscreen on there. If we're in a survival situation, we don't need to be wasting power on all that. We want to focus on making food cold or making you know, water, making ice cold so that you can preserve your food. So our first load test here is going to be my two chest freezers in the garage. Each one has about a five amp compressor. So let's plug it into the EcoFlow here and see what happens. All right. And now we have power on to both freezers using the EcoFlow uh, Delta 2 here. Now the nice thing I like about the Delta, it does give you a lot of diagnostic information right here on the screen. Okay, and now we can see here as the freezer's turning on, I can actually hear the compressor on this unit kicking in. The EcoFlow will tell us what the current draw is in watts, and right now we're drawing 92 watts, what the battery status is, you know, we're still at a fully charged battery, and then what the amount of running time remaining. And so based on the current draw, I have eight hours of run time remaining. Um, I find this information really, really useful, guys, especially, again, if we're talking about a survival situation where you really have to be mindful of and, and budget your energy usage, um, having this quick display, knowing what your current draw is, your battery status, and running time remaining is really, really important. So as you can see here, no problem running my two chest freezers. Um, each of these has a 5 amp compressor, and you can see, and that, that's by the way, that's full loaded amps, 5 amps. Realistically, it's only about a 1 amp draw once the compressor is up to speed. And you can see with both units plug, plugged in and compressors energized, we're only drawing about 190 watts. So only, only about 10% of the capacity of what this 1800 watt uh, inverter can do. All right, guys, so that's our test with the chest freezers. The next thing I want to show you is my ice maker machine. All right, now the next load that I want to show you on the Delta II is my ice maker. Uh, I have a 450 watt compressor ice maker, and this unit should put out about 100 pounds of ice per day. And so you may be asking, Joe, why are you running an ice maker? Why is this one of your emergency loads? Uh, and the answer is very simply because when you're planning for surviving a loss of the electric grid, uh, if you live in a neighborhood like I do, it may not be sufficient just to make sure you're just your own, your own family's power needs are taken care of. Um, I personally would like to have something that I can offer in charity uh, to my neighbors. And so if we're in a situation where power's out to the entire neighborhood, being able to trade on or being able to, to give ice to those that don't have refrigeration in their home, at least they can put some ice in their coolers and keep some of their critical food items or maybe critical medications if they have, a, a, let's say if they're a diabetic, they might need refrigeration to keep their insulin from going bad. With an ice maker, I can do that. So let's go ahead and give the ice maker a shot here on the Delta II. Plug it up here to the Delta. And let's fire it up. 
All right, I can hear, I can hear the compressor kicking up now. All right, so you can see here on the Delta's display, battery status is currently at 99%. The ice maker is currently drawing 195 watts. Now this is a 450 watt compressor, so that's telling me the compressor is only running at about half load. And based on the current draw, I have four hours of runtime remaining. Uh, now all this information is, is good information. And what I'd actually like to do is I'm gonna leave this running for the next hour, hour and a half or so, and come back and show you what the, uh, what the status is with the ice maker. And right now you can see here, the ice maker is telling us 15 minutes until our first batch of ice is ready. So I'm gonna let this unit run for about an hour, hour and a half, and we'll be right back and we'll show you what the results are. All right, so we're back now out in the garage. It's been about two hours since I hit the record button here and we, we've had the ice maker running pretty full that time. Um, I've actually got some, some good usable ice here in the machine. I'll show you guys. So we've got, got some good ice here. Actually, it looks like there's another batch about to drop right now as I speak. And there it goes. And if you look at the unit here, uh, you can see we're basically down to about half charge. Uh, the load is still about the same. We're looking at right, right around 200 to 250 watts load. And now the battery is showing 48%. All right, so here we are here. Battery is showing 48% charge remaining. Current draw is 202 watts with, well, now it says two hours runtime remaining. Just went up from one hour runtime remaining. So basically about half the capacity in our EcoFlow Delta II has been used. Now again, guys, this is only a one kilowatt hour uh, battery storage, meaning you can run a load of 1000 watts for one hour on a full charge. And now that our battery is down to 50% charge, what I'd like to show you is actually the process for charging the battery back up. All right, so that concludes the load test portion of our video. Now we're gonna plug in the solar panel and show you how the Delta II charges back up. All right guys, now we do have our 200 watt solar panel deployed out here, and I'm just gonna connect it in to the charging port on the Delta II and show you how the Delta II charges up here. Uh, again, the unit does come with the MC4 to EcoPro uh, EcoFlow adapter, which is nice because you can use a standard solar panel as long as it's within the acceptable voltage range. And so I'm just going to plug in the positive and negative solar cables. And then go ahead and plug the charging cable into the Delta II. All right, now I'm going to turn this around so you can see the display. And as you can see right now, we're getting about 129, 130, yeah, right around 130 watts coming in from the solar panel. Okay, and now you can see here on the display. So battery's currently at 50 or a 47% state of charge. We've got 131, 131 watts coming in from solar. There's no load. I, I unplugged the, um, the ice maker machine. And so basically, uh, now, based on this rate, it's telling us about, about four hours until the battery reaches full charge. So we'll let this go for a few minutes here, guys, and then we'll go ahead and wrap up the video. So folks, this has been an introduction to the brand new EcoFlow Delta II portable solar generator. Uh, as I've shown you, there's a lot of great applications for this unit here, whether it's uh, running your freezer, running your ice maker, refrigerator, uh, basically anything that plugs into a standard 120 volt wall outlet, you can run on the unit here. Doesn't mean you can run it all day long, but you can run pretty much any standard 120 volt load for intermittent use. So whether it's a microwave, a fridge, you know, you name it, the EcoFlow Delta II is gonna handle it here. Uh, and then of course, by pairing it with a portable solar panel, it will allow you to recharge the battery indefinitely, uh, whether you're off the grid or if you're using it for, you know, um, grid down backup type scenario, um, by being able to recharge with the solar panel, you know, each day you're starting with at least one kilowatt hours of energy that you can use Again, for things like charging your portable electronics, um, keeping your food from going bad, refrigerators, freezers, uh, you name it. 
Well, folks, that does it for today's introduction and review. Uh, EcoFlow is running a promotion right now until October 15th. Uh, if you'd like to get your hand on one of these units, again, it's about a thousand bucks to get set up with a starter kit. But if you'd like to get a discount, I believe they're running a 5% discount between now and October 15th. So be sure to use the link below there and you can go ahead and get the uh, coupon code and get your EcoFlow Delta II unit here. Uh, as I mentioned, we're gonna continue to cover this category of products. So the Delta II is sort of your starter model. Uh, they also have the Delta Max and the Delta Pro, which offer a larger, more robust battery backup. Well, folks, as always, if you're getting good value from the videos that you find on Solar Surge, be sure to give us a thumbs up uh, and also consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. Uh, our goal is to make sure that you have the best market and best product information. So as you navigate the world of solar and storage, you can make the most informed decision for you and your home. Well, folks, that does it for today's video. I thank you for spending some time with Solar Surge. As always, I'm Joe Ordia, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.